Eddie Murphy's getting a special award, Netflix is getting more episodes of Arrested Development, and one of the girls' co-stars is making a movie with Judd Apatow. Spoiler alert, it's not one of the girls. Who is it? One of the boys? One of the dogs? I don't know, this is so crazy. You'll find out on a new C Plus News Time. It's C Plus News Time with your host, Chad White. Welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the news you didn't know about for the week of April 6, 2015. The entire time I wanted to say March 6, and then the first time I wanted to say August 6, but instead I'm telling you about it right now. Let's get on with the news. Eddie Murphy's receiving the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor later this year. The New York Times reports that Eddie Murphy is going to receive the Kennedy Center's Annual Lifetime Achievement Award this year, which honors a fearless observer of society who startled many while delighting and informing many more with his uncompromising perspective on social injustice and personal folly. The president of the Kennedy Center, Deborah F. Rutter, said that through his appearances on Saturday Night Live, groundbreaking stand-up comedy, and work as a movie star, Eddie Murphy has shown that like Mark Twain, he was years ahead of his time. While she's very true and very right in saying that, did she not see SNL 40 where he was a little bit muted? He won't even do anything. Eddie Murphy is still a very funny guy, but he should, you know, branch out and do some other things. Murphy joins recent Mark Twain Prize winners such as Tina Fey, Ellen DeGeneres, and even Jay Leno. The ceremony is going to be held in late October, but no other performers have been announced. So just keep an eye out for that. And it's going to be on PBS. It always is. So just wait, ready to watch it. Next up, Arrested Development's co-executive producer, Brian Grazer, said that 17 more episodes of the show are headed to Netflix. No, this isn't some type of weird fever dream where Arrested Development's coming back and Firefly people are doing their own things with Con Man, that Indiegogo thing I reported on. But yes, Arrested Development is coming back with 17 more episodes. After a stellar performance last year, Netflix is bringing them back. Although this isn't really official, the co-executive producer, Brian Grazer, mentioned in an interview with Bill Simmons that we're going to do another 17 episodes, so stay tuned for Arrested Development. Netflix, of course, has not said anything, so just keep an ear open for that. Once they do say something, then I'm sure we'll get all of the arrest development that we need, and maybe a movie. And of course, finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, a girl's co-star is making his debut in the movies. That's right, I said his, as actor Andrew Rannells is working with Universal and Judd Apatow to make a film. Universals has acquired a comedy pitch from Randalls and he's going to be writing it with Jersey Boys cast member Mike Doyle. Randalls will potentially star in this and Judd Apatow's Apatow Productions banner will be hosting this movie. Details are a little bit mum and scarce, so let's just theorize what the movie could be about. Andrew Randalls could have a spinoff from Girls in which his character goes on a month-long cruise for gay men and he tries to find the right guy. That could be a really good episode of Girls, actually. Don't, don't do that, Andrew. If you're watching this, I, I'm sure you're watching a video that I'm sure is going to get three views at max. Then please, don't do that. Just do it as an episode. It'll be really funny. Uh, another theory for Andrew could be that he's making a movie about superheroes because that bubble hasn't bursted yet. Maybe he's making a comedy. Definitely a comedy. Maybe sort of heartfelt. We'll see what happens later on when the movie's details are not scarce anymore. 